The Evolution Power Sports Clutch Service Toolkit is a very well thought out kit with many features. Today we are going to show you those features while servicing a clutch. Additional tools you will be needing but are not limited to are a good impact gun, torque wrench, 8mm wrench, 13, 19, 7 8 sockets include 22, 19, 18, 17, and 13 extension. Torques include T25 and T30. Now let's get started. First, we will be removing the belt. For this, we'll be using the OEM tool with the Evolution Power Sports non marring tip and a 13 millimeter. Once you've removed the belt, remove the belt tool and proceed to remove the secondary clutch using a 17 millimeter. Once you've removed the secondary clutch, take note of the arrows on the rear and front of the clutch for proper reassembly. We will be removing the three 13 millimeter bolts on the back side to remove the helix. To do this, we'll be using the plate, the three rods, the all thread, the two spacers, the washer, and the nut. We will put the spacers on the all thread, put it through the secondary, the other spacer on top, along with the washer and the nut, and apply pressure to relieve those three bolts. Once you've assembled the three posts onto the plate, take your secondary clutch, set it on. We're gonna be using this as a stand. Take your first spacer, place it on the all thread, thread it through the bottom side, set it back down, apply the second spacer, the washer and the nut and apply tension. Once you've run the nut down and snugged it by hand, you can then flip over the secondary, set it back down on the stand, remove the three 13 millimeters on the backside and proceed to relieve the tension using a 7 8 wrench. Once you've removed the three 13 millimeters, proceed to flip over your secondary Take your 7 8 wrench and start relieving the spring tension. Once you've relieved the spring tension, remove the tool, remove your helix, check for any damage or wear, remove your spring, check for any damage or wear, replace if necessary, Check your cup, check for any damage or debris, inspect your rollers. If everything looks good, reassemble. Make sure the spring is placed in the hole. Reinstall your helix and take it over to a vise where you will be reapplying spring tension. If you are using the shift tech, set the degrees to negative 45. It makes the installation of this so much easier. Otherwise, Spinning clockwise, tighten the 7 8 until the helix passes the rollers. Be careful not to damage the rollers. Once it is snug and everything looks to be clearing okay, take it back over to the stand where we'll be reinstalling the 13 millimeters on the back side. With the two arrows aligning on the front and back, place the clutch into the stand, reinstall the 13 millimeters and torque to 45 foot pounds. Once the three bolts are torqued to 45 foot-pounds, flip it over, remove the tool, and move on to the primary clutch. Next, we will be removing and replacing the primary clutch weights. To do this, you will be using this tool here, the plate with the studs, the insert, the washer, the nut, and the all-thread, and a 22 millimeter to remove the primary clutch bolt. To remove the primary clutch bolt, using an 18 millimeter, remove the sway bar in link, remove this bolt here, set it off to the side, use a 22 millimeter and remove the primary clutch bolt. Once you've removed your primary bolt, take the tool oriented like this with the lip facing inward, all three legs installed, place it over the primary clutch and proceed. 
Once the tool is installed onto the primary, take your all thread with your nut, thread it down about three quarters of the way. Take your washer, your insert, place the insert in the center, thread in the all thread into the primary at least 10 turns. Once you've run in the all thread at least 10 turns, take a 7 8 wrench and tighten this nut at least five turns, relieving the spring tension from the primary clutch, allowing you to remove and replace any clutch weights that you desire. Once you've tightened the nut, you can remove and replace any clutch weight that you desire. I really do like using this tool for this application as you can do them all at once without having to struggle. To remove the clutch weights, you will need a T25 and an eight millimeter. If you are replacing the OEM weights, be sure to capture any washer. Once you are satisfied with your weights, reinstall and retorque. Be sure not to over tighten the hardware as it does have a nylock, so it doesn't require too much torque. After verifying that all the clutch weights move freely without any binding, you could remove the clutch tool. If you plan on removing your primary clutch, you will need the primary puller here. Be sure to add a little bit of grease to the tip and a little bit to the threads. Thread it in fully. It will have two steps. One will be through the clutch. The next will be through the crank. Use a good impact and a 19 millimeter. Run it down until you hear a pop. Remove the tool and pull your clutch. To service the primary, we will need the clutch puller. Thread it in all the way leaving an inch and a half sticking out. Next, you will take the plate and the insert, place it inside like this, set it on top of the clutch, line up the holes, and insert the Allens. Once you've snugged up the Allens, take the handle and install it. Once you've installed the handle, take the bolt, run it in, take a 24 millimeter and tighten this until the clutch separates. Once the clutch separates, remove the Allens. Once you've removed the plate and the Allens, remove your primary clutch puller and proceed with the service. Before separating your clutch, take a marker and mark the alignment so you can realign everything on reassembly. Once we've done that, we can separate our clutch, service our buttons, and change our primary spring for two-step launch control. To replace the primary spring, we'll need T30. You will need to separate the two halves. Take your all thread with your two spacers, put the first spacer in, put it through the bottom, set it down, Install the second spacer and the nut tool. Run it down snug. Once you've run it down snug, take a T30 and remove the bolts. Once you've removed the bolts, take a marker and mark the clocking and start relieving the spring tension. Once you've relieved the tension, remove the tool, remove and replace your spring Reassemble in the reverse steps. Once you've re-added spring tension, reinstall the bolts using a little bit of blue Loctite. Once you've reinstalled the bolts, remove the tool. Since the clutch is apart, it's a good time to grease the bearing if you desire. After that, wipe down the clutch assembly with acetone and reassemble. Once you've wiped everything down with acetone, reassemble and realign your clutch 
Be careful not to lose any of your buttons on reassembly. Once you've reassembled your clutch, reinstall it on the vehicle and torque the primary bolt to 89 foot-pounds while keeping it aligned. Once your primary is installed, reinstall your secondary clutch and torque the bolt to 52 foot-pounds. Once your primary and secondary are torqued, wipe everything down with acetone once again and reinstall your belt. Once you've installed the belt, reinstall your sway bar end link. This next step only applies if you have the Evolution Power Sport Shift Tech. Take the belt tool and reinstall it. Add a little bit of tension. Take the Evo supplied sheave tool, place it between the fins on the back side, add tension with the belt. You will then take a screwdriver, place it in an open slot. Take the six millimeter Allen wrench, loosen the shift tech until the shoulder is past the plate. Make your adjustment and retorque. Once you've torqued your bolts, remove the belt tool, remove your sheave tool, spin the clutch, and go test the vehicle.